Hey everyone, it's Donnie. Here I am with a review. Um, this is only a partial of my order from New Frog. I ordered, um, I have like five of them that are still coming, but um, they shipped this one separate because it's slightly different than your normal diamond painting. And so while it's here, I thought I'd just give them a uh, quick review on this because it is, like I said, slightly different than your normal diamond painting. And let's open it up and take a look. Um, let's, uh, I had it on the right page, but, uh, let's see. I ordered these on July 3rd, and this came today, which is, oh, July 23rd. So, 20 days. So that's just for, um, this one. So the other ones will obviously be taking longer. Like I said, newfrog.com. Uh, this cost me a dollar fifty-eight. I think they were dollar fifty-eight each. I got two of them. So these are one of those for kids. And now that I'm seeing them, this is something I could get at the Dollar Tree. In fact, it's probably the same brand. I don't know, but yeah, it looks like. Oh my gosh, they taped together. You, it's random which ones they give you, so you don't get to choose the painting. So we got a birthday cake and a giraffe. And it's got the different numbers for the gems. And let's open one up. It, it looks like they have adhesive, like a strip on the back of them, so you're not uh, having to use wax or anything. Let's see. And it looks like this, the, the back side looks like it's something you could color. It's pretty damaged. Uh well, that one's not sticky. It came uh, off. Yeah, these are really damaged. And this isn't something you could really fix. It just came flat in the package. Uh, so let's look at the diamonds. It looks like there's eight colors. But I'm seeing one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm not quite sure. I mean, seven is red. Three is this color for the giraffe. Green is one for the trees. And then the blue is six. And the purple is five. So I'm guessing this is eight is for the white areas for the clouds and the spots up here and the flowers. Or maybe not. Okay, so they just don't have they don't have um, number two. So I was rec I was talking and my it wasn't recording so yeah there's no number twos and there's no number four um the three is this color so it is both for this and for the brown color in the tail and on the butterfly um like i said when i thought i was recording i did count these there's just enough of the purple for this area there's 15 there's just enough for the blue and the one that fell off the adhesive was still on the strip so it's very uh, cheap it's easy for the tacky to 
um, come off of the gem itself when putting it on removing it to put put them on so that this is something they'll do with their hands we have um, diamond painting pins and let's see if those will work um, let's try my stabilo here that I have that's it's kind of big let's do the let's do this one somebody twisted it uh, all right, so let me remove it. Yeah, I can see it, it. That's the one that can't had the sticky still stuck on the strip, so can't even use it. I'm going to have to use some of my tacket to put on there. So they do pick up with this, so I'll put some tacket on these spots for her because she knows how to use do a regular diamond painting but there's a couple extras of these because they come in strips of 15 and there's only 12 of the um, green and then there's just enough blues just enough of the purples or pink and then I don't know I'm not gonna count all these but there's two strips of the red, so there should be enough for that and that. But a buck fifty-eight, I could probably get better quality at the Dollar Tree. In fact, I'm going to probably, if they still are selling them, I'm going to pick one up and do a comparison at some point. Um, but I, I wouldn't recommend buying these from New Frog. I mean, they don't put much care into how they package it. They could have put cardboard over it to keep it from this happening because this is pretty damaged. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's for kids, but still, I don't want this kind of, it's, it's bent really bad. Let's see if you can see how bent it is. Yeah, it's pretty bent up. So let's look at the second one here. I started opening it and that's when I realized it was not recording. So this one has this really pretty gold color, but the thing is, is you have to guess what color is what on this, but I like this, um, they're like little flowers. At least that's what it looks like in the camera, but those are really pretty. And then we've got the yellow. So I'm guessing the yellow is number four, the pink is number nine, and the green is number one. Then we got the red is number seven, the silver is number eight. Okay, so this gold is this brownish color, which is um, almost the same color as this one. But they didn't give, they gave the yellow one. Well, they gave an actual different, look at that, that's a different shade. And it's definitely not the same as these. But they, what they've done is they've combined colors. Like on the giraffe, the four is also on the ice cream cone for this light brown. And then the pink is nine, so it's a, the dark pink and the light pink. So it's not it's not as um, sophisticated as an adult one where there's the different shades. Every shade has its own color, and um, the the adhesive is not adhered very well. I mean, this they cut this one. They, it looks like they cut the actual gem itself. You see that. And I mean, what do you expect for a dollar fifty-eight? But you know, I did get a diamond painting painting for a dollar forty, and it was professionally, you know, put in the package and regular gems and everything. And it doesn't matter how much you're spending on something when you're buying a product, you don't expect to get this. I mean, I don't know if you can here. I'm gonna have to do it upside down so you can possibly see. Yeah, look at that. It's got markings from where the gems were inside the package when it ran through the machines at the Postal Service. So it's like ingrained into the cardboard because that's what these are. These are just cardboard. 
I mean, yeah, you can color one side and then do the, the diamond painting on this side, but no, I will not be buying these again. I would not give this... I'll give it one star for this pretty gem. That's what I'll give. Dollar Tree, here I come. I'm going to... I'm going to get me one and compare it. So there you have it. There's my uh, unique little uh, <laughs> review on kid diamond paintings that I got from New Frog. I don't know what they were called on there, but I just called them di uh, baby diamond paintings. 20 days. And that's what I got. So, yay. Well, I hope you guys have fun doing your diamond paintings. Do not get these. I will talk to you later. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Okay, so I ran out to the Dollar Tree today. Um, it's been several hours since I filmed that first part, but I did go get one of these from the Dollar Tree. And... It's not quite a diamond painting, but it still seems like it's, it would be more fun. I, my daughter started on the, um, birthday cake and she's having issues with placing them, but she's gotten some of the diamonds placed. The problem is, is when you, you drop it down. Um, the adhesive that is on the back of them, the little stickers, they um, don't always scooch into place very easily, and moving them is pretty hard. And she insists on doing it herself. So I actually let her take it out and do it at the kitchen table, because she was able to do it um, without any help from me. And then she got bored of it. So... Um, I'm sure she'll continue it. I will let her try this as well. But let's take a look at this and compare what we have. Um, it's not the same brand like I was thinking. But this is actually the uh, Dollar Tree brand. It says that it has over 400, it has over, over 400 plus pieces. So it has 400 plus pieces. It actually comes with a little um, key. And it will tell you which color goes to which number. And it even has special shapes. So let's look at these. Here's, well, here's the... This is a lot thicker cardboard than the other one. And obviously it's flat because I pulled it off of the hanger. No damage to it, but there's no coloring on the other side. These are the different um, ones that they have. I saw all of these there except for the fish. They may have had it. I just didn't go far enough in. And I just picked the butterfly because it looked cute. I, I liked the little fairy girl and the horse too, but yeah, I picked, I just wanted to do one and look at it, so I just picked this one. And let's look at our drills, our diamonds, our mosaic. These They call these a mosaic because, I guess, because they are square. Let's see. So, they're little foam. These are foam. So the red is just a plain color foam separated into little pieces with stickers, a sticker backing. And the uh, purple is all glittery. Yeah, it's nice and pretty. This is weird how this has it actually cut all the way through the middle. And this one you can actually just peel it off like one large piece of paper. I think this is going to be a little bit more difficult getting the middle. Yeah, here, I made it fall apart. That might be a little pain in the buttish, having to pull off every little piece of 
sticker on those. But the green is um, the same thing with one piece. And same with the beige color. And then the pink and the blue glittery. There we go. And they also have it cut all the way through. I really don't know why they did that. And then we've also got some gold. Those are really cool looking. And some silver. I think that you'd be able to just buy this stuff for the... For something else, maybe. If you were creative. Which I'm not. I can follow a pattern, but I can't come up with ideas. Now, for these pieces. The, um flowers and you got the purple gems and the red one the red hearts and then the flowers those are kind of cool they don't have any kind of adhesive on them but they gave you a bunch of dots they gave you smaller ones I don't know if you can see there you go they give the bigger ones for the flowers and the smaller ones for the hearts and the little gems. I think this is pretty neat because there is quite a variety and there's a lot to it. There's a lot to this. Let's see if you can see the bottom. There's not much room for camera space with it this close to the table but it goes all the way down. And I like that it's, it actually has, I mean, would I be able to figure this out? I don't see eight on here. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's weird. Because it's saying eight is the, um, that is weird. It's, it's, it's uh, red. I know my colors. Red on the outline, but it's showing to put the beige color in these, like, in the red spot and then the purple spot here. These other colors make sense where they are, but that one didn't, that doesn't quite make sense to me, but oh well, it's colorful and it's a dollar. So for a dollar and you can just run to the Dollar Tree and get it. I think that's pretty cool. Quite, quite um, detailed for a dollar. I don't know, I might go buy the other ones just so she has something to do because she did finish her cupcake when her cousins were here. So that's it for the rest of this review. I, I just wanted to compare the difference between the Dollar Tree, well, not really a diamond painting they call because they call it the mosaic, but um, there you have it. That's the difference because I know I was curious. So that will be the final part of this video and I hope you enjoyed this kind of off kilter review and have a good evening, day, afternoon, wherever you are. Bye guys.